Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Java. Here we're going to continue learning about the math functions. We're going to learn about rounding numbers, uh, what we call taking the floor of a number and taking the ceiling of a number. Uh, so let me go and show you inside of this documentation what I'm talking about. If we go all the way down uh, to the R's, actually, you know, an easier way to do that, we'll just go to find and we'll type round. Whoops, not found, round, like this and we'll go down uh, here. So round. So here we have uh, a pair of functions. Uh, basically they're both called round. They're exactly the same thing. It's just showing you what happens if you put a double uh, number inside and what happens if you put a float inside. Um, and so basically if you read this it tells you it's, it's behaving the same way that a rounding does in math. It returns the closest long number to the argument with ties rounding up or it returns the closest integer to the argument with ties rounding up depending on exactly what you pass to it. Very 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 simple to use. So the easiest way to do that um, just to show you really quick is just we'll go down here and we'll do system dot out dot print ln like this and inside of this we can just simply go math dot round and we can do a pair of parentheses now we can just pass a number inside so let's go and say what happens if we have 1.25 what do you think we should have as an output remember we're taking the round method we're passing it a number and this entire thing is sitting inside of a print statement so the result of this is going to be what gets printed the number one comes back as a result because when we round this that's typically what happens if we change this to 1.73 and hit uh, this guy it rounds up to the number two right rounds up to the number two and if we do something like 1.51 when save it and go up it's also going to go up to a two and if we go just below like something like 1.49 we expect that to round down. So this is behaving exactly as you expect uh, to round numbers in, um, in any kind of math class. Basically it goes up to the nearest whole number, down to the nearest whole number, depending. It also works with negative numbers. If we do negative um, 3.37 and then we hit this guy and go, then the closest thing is it's going to essentially round uh, over to negative three so it works with negative or positive numbers so that's how we handle the rounding uh, method that rounds either up to the nearest number or down to the nearest number depending on exactly what the value of the number is now let me show you a couple of other um, uh, functions that are useful sometimes depending so let me show you one call these very similar to the rounding function so let me show you a floor right uh, let's go down to floor right here so floor returns the largest a uh, value that is less than or equal to the argument uh, and so on. You can read this but basically the bottom line is that the floor uh, method is going to return the value that's always smaller. So for instance if we take let's take something easy here um, 2.25 and we change the method that we're using instead of round we change it to floor like this then what's going to happen is it's going to look at what's in here and it's always going to go down to the lower whole number. So let me go and hit this guy I'm always going to get 2.0, right? Now if I do 2.45, it's always going to round down. See, it's giving you 2.0 as a result. Even when I get up around 2.75, it's going to go down because it's a floor. It's always pushing down. Even if I go to 2.96, it's always going to go down. So the floor, it doesn't really behave like a round. It kind of you can think of it as almost throwing away what's beyond the decimal point and giving you the lower whole number, which is also very similar to the ceiling function. So the floor means it gives you the lower whole number, the ceiling means it gives you the upper whole number. So if I run this guy here, it's going to give me 3.0 because that's the next largest whole number. If I go down to 2.50, it's still going to give me the next higher whole number. Even if I go to 2. Point, you know, um, 05, very small number, it's always going to give me the next higher whole number. So you can think of the floor function or the floor method as giving you the lower whole number, the ceiling method giving you the next higher whole number, and the rounding function is what you usually study in math class where it chooses either the floor or the ceiling depending on the value of the number. So those are all available to you to use all the time. Now, in this particular example, I'm just sending the method inside of the print statement, but just to kind of be absolutely clear, just so you know. Now, to be absolutely clear, another way to do this is just to find a variable. So we'll consider double num1, and we'll set it equal to 2.57. And then inside of the print statement, we can just say math.round. And inside there, we can pass it the value 
or the variable called number one, we can hit save, we can print that, and we're going to round up to the number three. So the round function, the ceiling function, the floor function, they all work if you pass them numbers. They also work just fine if you pass them variables that you've stored the appropriate number in. So it all works fine either way. Very, very easy functions to use. You could write your own subroutine, you could write your own methods to do all of these functions, but they're already written in the Java language libraries that are all readily accessible in the math class.